stop eating the fast food, you stop taking the drugs, you stop popping the perks, you stop smoking the lace weed they selling you, you will see a difference. The thing go from this to this. They go from this to this. You're under 30 years old and you're having problems in the bedroom, it's crazy. Where do you think you are from? Africa! Black. Black. Yeah, yo. Okay, okay. I'm doing my favorite thing. I'm juicing. So let's get straight to it. First things first. Uh, I'm not sure if y'all can see the sink clearly, but if y'all can, y'all can see everything is in the sink. We got literally everything. We got kiwis. We got celery. We got lemons. We got berries, red berries, and blackberries we got carrots we got apples we got ginger we got cucumber and we got pears i love the pears i got pineapple right here and i got a cantaloupe right here um and if you see it is soaking in water water with vinegar water with some squeezed lemon and water with salt i got all of this soaking in here oh i got turmeric as well all right um all of this is soaking in all of these uh, stuff because I'm trying to get that dirt off of it, man. A lot of us buy fruits, vegetables, and don't clean it. It's so important to clean it. You can scroll on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and whatever, and see all the pesticides that are on the fruits that they're selling us in the Walmarts. The best way to grow it is to grow it. But if you can't, man, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta buy it from the stores. You have to wash it, man. And when you wash it, you will see all the dirt. Look at all this dirt. You'll see all the dirt on the fruits, man. It is so important. So all of this been draining for about, I want to say about 30 minutes. So right now I'm gonna let all the water out. All right, there we go. Cool. Got it. Rinse all of this stuff off. Rinse all of this stuff off. There's so much dirt on this stuff, man. And I got my, my peeler, like I always use, right here. I got my tool. I got my pitcher. I got my strainers, like I always got right here. I got my containers, because I'm going to juice a lot of this, but I'm going to cut the cantaloupe and some of the pineapple up, pineapple up and put it in, uh, in these containers as well, because not only do we juice, but we eat fruits on the regular. I got my small containers. I got a, probably like 10 of these. I got like my big containers, probably like 10 of these as well. So a little variation of everything. Cool. We don't rinse everything. Let's rinse it again. And this vinegar right here is, is literally just distilled white vinegar. Make sure it's cheap. It's like a dollar or two or three, man. Make sure you wash it and soak it in vinegar, uh, lemon, and um, salt, man. It's so important. For real, for real. Squeeze some of that lemon, squeeze some of that salt on it, get all that dirt, man, because it got so much, so much, so much, so much dirt on it, man, you never believe, man. All right, let's get to it, let's get to it, let's get to it. First things first, I'm juicing. Um, I like to get my salary out of the way, so I'm going to go ahead and start juicing my salary. I'm going to do my salary and cucumber. I did that last time, and I really like that mix, green and green, so I'm going to start juicing that first, and I got my strainer right here, so when it gets filled up, we can do that, so let's start it. And one thing about the salary, it, it accumulates a lot of juice. So you regularly will have to fill it up. A lot of juice comes out. It's already filled up. And like I always say, you want to leave your, your little pitcher under here for a few seconds after you turn it off because um, it will drip. I uh, see. It drips a lot. So I usually leave it on for a couple more seconds. Then I get my strainer and I pour the juice right into it like this. And as, as I always say, you know, when I when I when I when I pour the salary in the cucumber out, not a lot of I call it mush. I don't care if it's the right word or not, but I call it mush. Not a lot of mush uh, goes into the strainer. It's like majority juice compared to a lot of other fruits. So boom, that's that. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let me rinse all this out. Put it back right here. Pour all of this in. 
I've been I've been on social media a little bit and I just been seeing so much. Actually, I seen this video. It was um I can't remember exactly what it said, but it was saying something that's like people think when you start to eat healthy, you have to sacrifice. But it, it shouldn't be a sacrifice, yo. Eating healthy, drinking healthy, it shouldn't be a sacrifice. It's a, it should be a privilege. Because it's like, at the end of the day, when you look at all of these foods and drinks that are being sold in America, a lot of this stuff is banned in other countries, yo. Like, they don't even allow you to sell it, drink it, eat it. None of that restaurants, grocery stores in other countries. When you come to this country, it's like, everything goes. So, you gotta think like, Bro, eating healthy, drinking healthy, it shouldn't be a sacrifice. It shouldn't be something that we have to like dedicate ourselves or sacrifice ourselves to do. We should do it because it's a privilege. We have the freedom to do these kind of things. We have the freedom to grow our fruits, grow our vegetables, grow our food. We pay for convenience. We literally have a freedom to eat healthy, bro. Literally, bro. We don't have to eat bull crap. We don't have to eat McDonald's. We don't have to eat Burger King and, and all of this nonsense that's not good for us, that's not healthy for us. We're eating things that we shouldn't even be containing in the first place. When you think about it and you really read the ingredients in social media, you really read the ingredients in chicken and pork and steak and all of this processed foods that they're giving us in grocery stores, we really shouldn't be containing that kind of stuff. That stuff is not even food at sometimes, man. A lot of it be plastic and preservatives and Disease, that's what's causing the diseases a lot of the times. I really and truly believe that, bro. This should be a privilege, bro. Eating healthy should be a privilege, not a sacrifice. And I really resonated with that video because it made so much sense. It's like we look at things totally off at times as Americans. You feel me? Like sac sacrifice. This is a privilege, yo. This right here, clean your cleanse, uh, cleanse your, your, your colon out, all of that. Let me taste it. You know, I add a little bit of water to everything I do just to scratch it. But this is a privilege, homie. This is not for a second a sacrifice. You should want to do this right here. You should want to do it. You feel me? Alert, 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 alert. I think that's a scam to be real. Sometimes, hey, whenever people be calling you, it be scams. Don't say hello. I said it just now that I just realized I did. Because they be trying to record your voice for consent and all of that. Be real careful with them scammers, boy, because they be trying to get you from every angle. All right, cool. Cucumber's done. Let's move it aside. They be trying to record your voice. And I don't even know why I said hello just now. Hello and yes and all that kind of stuff. They be trying to record your voice for consent. It could be bank situations. It could be fraud, scam, whatever. Just be careful, boy. I just realized I said hello when I shouldn't have. But I thought I recognized the number, but I guess... You know, when, we, when, I, when I answered it, it was like a computer. Like, something was just, like, off. But it's all good. This right here is the mush. We just did all of the cucumber and the celery. And look at all of the mush. It's a lot. I dump all of this. This is fertilizer. If you got a garden, you can fertilize your garden with it. Um, you can make tea with this, really. I'm dumping it right now just because I don't got time for that right now. But this is fertilizer. This is tea. You know, it's a lot of things that you could use this for. A lot of benefits that you can gain from this. So if you want to go ahead and use it in any way, do it. All right? All right, I trashed it. I emptied it out. Let's get back. Let's get back to the juicing. Next, since I did the greens and it's green right now, I'm going to go ahead and do the apples and pears. I'm going to make that as a mix. Let's get it. This um, juicer it has a, a low and a high knob for the salary and the cucumber. Well, mostly for like the salary, I keep it on low. But stuff like apples, carrots, um, even ginger, turmeric, I usually put it on high because it's a little harder. So the pears, if it can fit, I'm gonna put this on hard. I don't want it to overflow. So I got a pear in there right now, but what I'm gonna do, 
is I'm going to get my strainer and start pouring this into into um uh into these small ones right here. And it's gonna be straight pear juice. I'm thinking about nah, what we gonna do? Take that back, take that back. What we gonna do is I'm gonna mix all of it. I'm gonna mix, like I said, I'm gonna mix the the pears and the apple in one. I'm gonna mix that as a juice together. This pear juice is like heaven right here. This pear juice is so good. I wish y'all could taste this right here, boy. This right here is amazing. And you just gotta think. Sometimes when juicing is expensive, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna say that. I ain't gonna lie. Juicing is expensive. And if you want to look at that like it's a sacrifice, because when you think about cheap food, it's cheap. Dollar menu, Wendy's, Burger King, Chuckers, it is cheap. But, and I will understand that someone say it's a sacrifice because financially it's expensive. I agree. But that's why as adults, bro, sometimes we got to prioritize. Sometimes we got to organize and schedule our money to where we only spending it on things we need. The, the, the we spending it on the essentials first, on the things that are important first, and the, the rest we have left over, we use that as play money or throwaway money. But you got to think, think about your body like, bro, if you take care of your body, your body will take care of you. Literally. You feel me? You really got to think like, okay, cool. Say you got a car, right? If you don't get an oil change for your car, if you don't get your tires change if you don't get you know your filters change in your car your car will break down bro and your car is like your body so if you take care of your car your car will take care of you if you don't get the oil change your car might blow up your radiator don't get it changed the radiator might overheat and blow up if you don't get your filters then your, your the filters get fogged up and and clogged up and they might blow you got to really take care of your car and you got to take care of your body so if you take care of your body you take your body will take care of you you feel what i'm saying so like Bro, you put the right stuff in your body, your body going to do what it need to do. Real talk, man. That's what you got. That's how you got to look at it sometimes. And that's how I started looking at it. All right, boom, 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 boom. I'm going to get another strainer. Let me go ahead and pour it in there. See all that foam? It's really good, actually. Look at that. Look at that. Real good. A lot of times, bro, you be getting 25, you getting 30 years old, and your body just all toe up. You putting all them drugs in your body. You putting all them fake perks in your body. You smoking all that fake weed. You feel me? Back in my day when I was like middle school, high school, bro, I don't remember all of these drugs, man. I ain't even gonna lie, I don't I do not remember all of these drugs. I don't know because I wasn't around it, but me being what I was me being like the life I was living, I was around a lot of drugs. Just from like the neighborhood or school or whatever. I don't remember all of these drugs. And we we, we taking out we people are taking all these drugs and it's like these boys be 25, be see more scam. You gotta delete or you gotta you gotta ignore all them scam calls, but because they trying to get you. But what I was saying, I was saying, I don't remember all of these drugs. And it's like these boys be 25, 30 years old. And, and they ain't got no stamina. They thing can't stay up. They not healthy. They can't run a mile. But it's the food, bro. It's, we not taking care of our bodies as a people. We not in the gym exercising. We not taking walks after we eat. We eating and laying down. We eating at 3 in the morning and going to bed. We eat bull crap back to back to back. We eat no kind of nothing healthy, nothing nutritional at all. You feel what I'm saying? And it's killing us, bro. It's real deal killing us. At least, at least if you're not going to eat healthy, do, do it out of balance. I'm not saying be perfect because I'm far from perfect. I still snack on chips and cookies and all of this, you know, food that I kind of grew up on. Not necessarily in my household, because my mom never really bought too much junk food in the house. My mom was a great parent, a great woman, a great mother. She really, like, she really, and that's why 
the found you have to build a foundation from a young age. You gotta start taking care of the tree at a root. So my mom did a great and amazing job of like of like of like putting us putting us in position to like understand health and understand that health is wealth. You know what I mean? She really did an amazing job. Like she never bought soda in the house. I don't even know what soda is. She barely bought juice in the house. Um, a lot of the hot pockets and the those kind of preservatives, food like noodle, like she, you know, I'm Jamaican. And my mom grew up in a Jamaican household as well, obviously. And she really grew up teaching us the importance of like fruits and carrots, apples, kiwis. You know, ginger. When we were sick, she would give us ginger. She wasn't big on like NyQuil and medicine. So, you know, most praise and all praise to the higher power, but most and all praise to my mom for kind of guiding me in the right direction to understand the benefits. Because a lot of people don't even understand the benefits because they weren't raised to understand it. So now a lot of people are in the, in the, in the like the, in the in the in the in the mindset of like unlearning to relearn and I'm doing that a lot as well but I kind of already have like a head start cuz my mom she made us understand this from a young me and my sister you know she made us understand these health benefits from a young age so when we get 25 and 30 and 35 and 40 we can feel young still my mom is is, is twice my age and she looks like a queen. She looks amazing. She can walk a mile faster than a lot of these young cats could walk a mile. You know, she look good. She feel good. She can bend her knees. She can jump up. She can go up the stairs fast and it's nothing slowing her down because she took care of herself and she made sure her kids knew the benefits of health. You know, and I, I love, I love I'm very happy that my mom did that kind of stuff, boy, because I don't know where I'd be if she ain't instilled that kind of knowledge within us, you know? Real talk, man. Let's get back to this juicing. I got uh, a couple pears left. Pears and apples. Let's get it. All right, now these apples are too big. So what I'm gonna do is, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these apples in half. I ain't even see uh, how much it filled up. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, get my strainer together. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pour that into my container. Before this starts to overflow, I know like it's almost there. I bet. Again, this is kiwi. Not kiwi, excuse me. This is pear, apples, and um, what is it? Pear and apples? Yeah, pear and apples, that's it. <laughs> right, I got that thing filled up. I'm actually going to drink some of this because it's really good, like I said. Damn, that's good. I got my containers right here. I'm going to start pouring it in. Ooh, see? That's why I want to get it too filled because it starts to spill. Damn. Bit of spilling. All right, bet that's one. This is two right here. And if you notice, I don't fill it up all the way because I'm gonna put some water in both of them, not too much water. Just to dilute it a little bit, make a scratch. So that's one. That's two. Now I got both of these filled up. Let's 
like not 90 percent and 10 percent water got both of these filled up right here i'm gonna put these right here and this right here i'm gonna finish straining let me rinse this off first Get all that mush out. Rinse this off. Boom, that's all the pineapple. Not, excuse me, not the pineapple, you know what I meant. Bam. Probably could fill this up in a small one right here. And of course I put some water in here. Bam. Now I got a shot right here. Real organic because you know what's in it. Because you made it literally. All right, let's get back to it. I got a few apples left. Then I'm gonna get to the kiwi. Let's get to it. Boom, just finished that. And what I'm gonna do, I notice when you start to smell like a burning smell, is I, I be I be noticing that this right here, it start to see it starts to get real full. So it's like it's overworking. So I like to clear it out, clean everything, put it back together. That way you get the most juice possible. Because like I said, juicing can be expensive. And I understand that might be a sacrifice, but if you prioritize your money. Then, I mean, it is what it is. We spend our money on a bunch of stuff, man. Especially the black culture, we spend our money, our money on, on nonsense, man. Stuff that can't benefit or help us in any way. Jewelry, which I'm not saying jewelry can't help you at all, but you know what I mean. Clothes, designer, all it is that. Rinse all of this off right here. I just do a quick look. This look actually pretty clean. So I sometimes I take it off. I'll take the blade off itself, but this blade looks pretty clean. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put it back together. But I do notice that it's it's like a little burning smell. Not burning like it's like it's overheating. It's like it's working too hard. So go ahead and strain this. Bam. Put this on here right here. Clear all that out. Oh, went, <laughs> went too fast. Went too fast. Bam. And this right here will be another shot in one of my smaller containers. Add a little, add a little water to that right there, which I will. And that's going to be good. So right now I'm going to do 
red berries, black berries, and kiwi. All right, that's everything right there. That look real thick. So first things first, I'm gonna grab me another bottle of water. And um, I'm gonna make sure I dilute that, put some water in this one before I forget. Them berries, they look real thick with that kiwi. Uh, make sure I got all my drips. See nothing dripping. Boom. Let's go ahead and drain this. See what this comes out like. Look at that. That is beautiful. It's like a purplish greenish color. That is beautiful. Like a real life chemist. A real life science experiment right here, man. Bomb. I'm gonna share strainers. Cause sometimes the fruits be so thick it clogs up the whole the whole um strainer. You see if you can see that's like all clogged up. So that's why I go ahead and change and I move the strainer around just so it can get through a little faster. This is really good right here. So I can literally grab a spoon, which I will. And eat this because this right here is really good. So look at that. Like a smoothie. That's how thick it is. It's all, what time is it? Five o'clock. I have not eaten today at all. I had, a, I had a banana this morning on the way to the gym. And then I had, um, had a banana, oh, I had some cashews. That's it, I eat today. I might get back on this one day, one meal a day, cause, uh, a lot of times, bro, I don't be having no appetite. I don't have, and I, a lot of times I feel like the food we intake affects our mood. It affects our energy. And um, a lot of times I just don't have no appetite. Like, I just don't care to eat anything. You know what I mean? And today's just one of them days. I went to the gym. I had water before and after the gym, at, while at the gym, of course. But I just ain't feel really hungry. Like I said, I had the cashews and the, and the banana, but I ain't no food, no breakfast, no eggs, nothing like that. Bacon, tr which I try not to eat pork bacon. I'm not perfect, so sometimes I slip up, but mostly turkey, bacon. And um, I don't eat unless I'm hungry. You know, I'm not even into the whole three meals a day. I just eat when I'm hungry. I don't eat late night. I try not to. Uh, I slip up many times, of course, because I'm human or normal, but I try not to eat late night. And I try not to eat unless I'm hungry. I don't care if it's breakfast time, morning, you know, lunch time or dinner time. I'm only gonna eat if I'm hungry, if that makes sense. All right, let's put these into some into some containers. Look how thick that is right here, man. It's a beautiful color. I'm gonna go ahead and split this into two. just because it's so thick. Then I'm gonna go ahead and mix that with some water. 
I won't go halfway. Go like 25%. And just to keep the little citrus style, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze a lemon into each one or squeeze some of the lemon juice, excuse me, into each one. Give it, give it a little citrus feel. Um, don't want to put too much. Right, now, I got kiwi, uh, lemon, and damn, kiwi, lemon, and red berries, blueberry, raspberries, blue, red berry, blueberries, uh, red berry, blackberry, excuse me. Look at that. QT4. All right, I'm going to clean this out again only because those berries got it looking so dark and I don't want nothing to get clogged. Ugh, it's really not that bad. I'm going to just rinse this off. Look at that. Beautiful. And this time, I'm gonna take the blade off. Because that the red berry the, and the black berries, I'm gonna go ahead and clean because it's so thick. I don't want this juice to mix with like the ginger, the carrots, or the, even the pineapple that I got to juice next. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this off. Go ahead and clean this out. Which literally takes a few seconds. Put the blade back on. And sometimes I just scrape right here. just to clean the blade a little bit. But this is what, you know, tenderize the fruits almost. So I just clean this up a little bit. So the next juices I make don't have like all the berries all in it. It still will obviously because it's the same juicer, but not as much. Give it a quick little rinse. Pop it back on. Pop this back on. Clip it back. All right, let's see what's going on here. Oh, I see. There we go. Put this back in front of it. Rinse this off. Clean my strainers.
I missed the bear right here. Damn. That was tangy. It's good. All right. What's next? What's next? What's next? Okay. Carrot. I love carrot juice by itself. So I'm going to do this carrot juice, get this out of the way. And matter of fact, no, I'm not. I'm going to leave the carrot for last because the carrot leaves a strong, like a residue. So I'm going to do the carrot last. What I'm going to do right now. Damn. Actually, I'm trying to. Now, nah, let's do the carrot now. The turmeric and the ginger also leaves a strong residue. It might be even stronger than the carrot. So I'm going to do the carrot right now. And then I will do, oh, how could I forget? Cantaloupe. Let's cut the cantaloupe. Let's cut the cantaloupe. I got my knife right here. Easy. Not the biggest knife, but it get the job done, so that's all that matter. All right, let's get the middle. And thank God the cantaloupe still got seeds in it, right? Because they know they're trying to take the seeds out of everything. They don't even want you growing it in your garden. They wanted to make it to where, like, the only way you can get it is if you buy it from them. They eliminated, <laughs> they eliminated all the, the, the competition. It's crazy. All right, clean the cantaloupe out. Then I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting it. Go ahead and start cutting the cantaloupe. Then I'm gonna juice the cantaloupe. I might do cantaloupe and, and a matter of fact, I'm gonna do a cantaloupe by itself. Um, just because I like cantaloupe so much. I'm gonna do cantaloupe by itself and put though, maybe it could fill maybe two containers up, maybe three, who knows. And I'm going to juice that by itself. I've been buying cantaloupe and my mom been buying cantaloupe since I was a little, little kid. So I love, I love me some cantaloupe, man. Boom, I try to get as much skin as possible. Let me eat a little piece. Mmm. Amazing. Hey, but real talk, back to what I was saying as far as not eating unless you're actually hungry. Like, a lot of the stuff we were raised on is literally just proper, proper, propaganda. Literally. Everything we were raised on, is, if you think about it, is like monetized. A commercial, an advert, some kind of persuasion to make you do this or buy this or be this. And a lot of it is just propaganda for real. Like, you got to think. For real, for real. If someone is showing you something or teaching you something, who's benefiting from it? Who's benefiting? Somebody's benefiting from everything that you learn. Whether you, is, you learn something in school a trade, a, 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 some kind of anything, any, it don't matter what it is, someone's benefiting from it. And most of the time, someone's benefiting financially from it. So you got to think like, how many of the things that you see is actually genuine? Like, okay, boom, you see a, a McDonald's commercial or a fast food commercial, whatever, right? If you go buy the fast food, someone's benefiting from that. <laughs> they're getting your money, right? They're not robbing. They're not putting a gun to your head or none of that. But they advertising. they marketing. They probably got a celebrity to persuade you to, 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 to buy that chicken sandwich or buy them fries. Even though they know them fries not good or, or the chicken nuggets or whatever it is, is not good. Someone is benefiting from those commercials, from those, from the marketing, from the propaganda. 
And it's to the point where you got to think like, damn, I'm the victim. Damn, I'm the consumer. And they're getting rich off of my dollar, off of my hard work, off of my blood, sweat, and tears. Off of me clocking in 40 hours a week, 50 hours a week, 55 hours, 60 hours a week. And I'm not getting no benefits because this food is filling me up for an hour, two hours. But now I can't go to the bathroom. Now I can't breathe right. Now I'm constipated. Now I'm congested. Now I got all these health defects. Now I can't, I can't last in the bedroom no more. Now it's hard to breathe. Now I have, you know, overall complications, you gotta think. They benefiting, they getting money. How are you benefiting? By what? Being full for an hour? Being full for two hours? Then you hungrier, you hungry again? It ain't worth it, man. They know what they doing. They not even feeling this 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 poison. It ain't food at this point. It's drugs, right? They not even feeding this poison to their own families, to their own kids. They not even eating it themselves. They feeding us science experiments. They real deal feeding us science experiments. This ain't food at this point no more. It's chemicals. It's drugs. It's poisoning. They not even feeding us food at this point. And we just eating it, eating it, eating it. Thank you, we enjoying it, but it's hurting us more than it's helping us. We don't even stay full off of the food. When the last time you been full all day from eating a number two from McDonald's, eating another three from Wendy's? When the last time you been full for a long period of time? You go to work, let's say you go to work and you start at 9 p.m. and you finish at, let's say, 5 p.m. And before you go to work around 8.30, you eat uh, a breakfast sandwich from McDonald's or a breakfast wrap from Taco Bell or whatever. Ain't you hungry again by lunchtime? <laughs> Literally, ain't you hungry again before lunchtime? That food don't last you the whole day. You don't be at work with a great attitude and optimistic. You be miserable at work. <laughs> Think about it. Look at that pure cantaloupe juice right there. That look beautiful. Liquid gold. Look at that, boy, boy. Let's go ahead and strain this. Let's go ahead and strain this right here. And I'm gonna leave this cantaloupe juice just like it is. I'm not gonna mix it with nothing or nothing. It's just gonna be straight cantaloupe juice right here. It tastes so good. It tastes so good, pure. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it just like that. I'm gonna get this other strainer right here. But like I said, sometimes it gets so clogged up. To where you gotta kind of like use another strainer for it. That's pretty much everything right there. Just to make sure. And like, you know, I be doing my little thing. So I literally just be getting a, a spoon like this and eat all of that. Look at that. And it literally tastes like cantaloupe. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Make sure everything go in it. Boom, that's everything right there.
Beautiful. So let's add some water to it. Just a little bit, not too much. And then go ahead. Let's grab our containers. I'm going to put these in some small ones, actually. Nah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the ginger and stuff. I'm going to put these in a big one. Bomb. Pure cantaloupe juice by itself. Completely by itself. Beautiful. And it's only a little bit less. I'm going to just finish it myself. Damn. <laughs> it tastes so good. It did taste so good, bro. <laughs> it's just like, I get older, man, I just be feeling like stuff that tastes so bad to you, excuse me, stuff that are so bad to you, be tasting and feeling so good. And sometimes stuff that are good for you tastes nasty or tastes bad. But that's good for you and it tastes good. Beautiful. All right, that's cantaloupe juice by itself. Let's get to these pineapples right here. <clears throat> Let's get to these pineapples. So, again, I'm cutting one pineapple up and I'm juicing it. And the other pineapple, I'm going to cut it up and put it in a container, eat it. Diced up. Let's move this over here a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. If you want to plant some pineapples, there you go. We already got a few in the garden, so we good, but come on now. Put, you put those in the ground. You put the seed in the ground. And you know what's going to come out. All right, back. Let's cut our first pineapple. I bought these from Publix. So, uh, look at that. Juicy. Juicy, juicy. I'm going to cut this one up and put it in my container. And I'm going I'm to cut that one up and put it in the, uh, and juice it. Go ahead and cut the skin off. I try to get as much skin off as possible without cutting into the meat. Um, look at that. Look at that, man. Hey, but to get back to what I was talking about um, with like priorities and stuff, I did a budget sheet, right? And I took a video of it, of me recording and budgeting for 2024. And in that video, what I basically was saying about, I was talking about budgeting and the power of budgeting and I can't remember the exact number right now because it's all the way in January. But I was saying if you budget correctly, you know, being rich is not just financially rich, of course, not spiritually or any other way right now, but strictly financially rich. You can have one hundred thousand dollars and be richer than someone with a million dollars. Because a lot of the times it's not about how much you make. It's about how much you save. It's about your surplus. How much you have extra left over when you take care of all your responsibilities and all your expenses and all of that. Just think about it like this, right? Even numbers. If you make a million dollars a year and after the end of the year, your expenses, your spending, everything, you spend $990,000 in that same year. And you only got $10,000 left over. Does that make you a millionaire? That make you rich? $10,000? Not even close. So you made a million dollars, cool. But after taxes, after expenses, after you spending on everything you spent it on and blah, blah, blah. You only got $10,000 surplus, $10,000 left over. That's all you got to show for it. That's not money. That's not rich. Now, Next example, if you have, let's say, let's say you make 100000 a year, right? Which is, 
way less than a million, right? You make a hundred thousand a year. And after all your expenses, everything, everything, it comes up to let's say fifty thousand. Right? You have fifty thousand dollars left at the end of the year. That's your surplus, that's your extra. You got fifty thousand dollars to show for it. Compared to the person that makes nine, that makes a million dollars and have ten thousand dollars to show for it. Who got more money? The person that make a million or the person that make hundred thousand? You see what I'm saying? It's not always about how much you make, it's about how much you keep, how much you save. That's what's most important. Because we all know that one person that has a million high school stories. Man, I was that man in high school. I was this, I was that. We don't care about 10 years ago, 20, 30 years ago. What you got right now, um? What you got right now, OG? What can you show me right now? We don't want to hear them old school stories that in high school you was the man. What the hell happened to you? Where your money at right now? Where your achievements at right now? Where your accomplishments at right now? What you doing right now? Can you put me on some game right now? Not last week, last month, last year, last decade, but right now. A lot of them can't. I don't really want to hear none of them speak. Because it's not about what you make or what you made. It's what you keep, what you saved, what you can show. How can, you, how can you learn anything from someone that can't show you anything? Think about it. I said all that to say, man. When it comes to, like, budgeting, it's not about how much you make, it's how much you save. And that's why I made that budgeting video, because... If you budget correctly, if you prioritize your money correctly, you can be rich. You could be financially stable. You could be financially free. Right? Now, I will say I'm blessed. I work hard, though. But I'm blessed, right? I own my house. I own my car. I, uh, I have some investments. A lot of investments, actually. I make good money. And most importantly, I save. I invest, I save. But I still wanted to make sure I budgeted correctly for 2024, this year, right? So I noticed that subscriptions are taking over the world, right? Subscriptions are taking over the world. Anything you want, you can get a subscription for it. Car wash, subscription. <laughs> TV, subscription. You know what I mean? Every and anything. You can subscribe. And them subscriptions, they be good, of course, but they add up. And they what they do, they make it, they make it cheap and expensive so it can sneak up on you. That 15, that 20, that 25. That $30 a month. I was paying $30 a month in car wash. It sneaks up on you. Right? And uh, I made a video about subscriptions. And I cut off all my subscriptions. Even my Apple, my Apple Music. My Spotify. My Tidal. I cut off a Sound Plus, a SoundCloud Pro. All that. YouTube Premium. All that. Because, man, the way the world going, they got adverts on everything. And we all want to skip it. We want to skip it so much, so we, we pay to skip it. We don't want no more adverts. We can't even be patient, even though back in the day, we all had to wait through the commercials. The commercial was like a little break. Now it's like, we got we to gotta watch it. We got to watch it. Skip ad, skip ad. Now we can skip the ad, this, that. Nah, I cut off all my subscriptions. So I ain't gonna be lazy no more. I'm gonna I'm 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 wash my own car. I got a hose outside. I could park it up and I could I could wash it myself. Why am I? Oh, because I'm lazy? Because I'm getting lazy. 
I see what's going on. Why do I have all these subscriptions for all these music sites? Can I just listen to YouTube with the commercials? Listen to Pandora for free? But I'm impatient, right? So instead of me weighing through the commercials, I'm trying to <clears throat> I'm trying to skip through them, I'm trying to get subscriptions. I cut everything off, man. I said I ain't doing it no more. I cut everything off. All my subscriptions. And I can't remember the name, not name, excuse me, the number that I'm saving per year, but I'm saving a, a whole lot of money. Whole lot of money every single month, every single year. Because I decided to, 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 to sacrifice. I decided to dedicate. I decided to, 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 to save all that money and put it in an investment account, another investment account, CD, a Roth, mutual fund, a bond, stocks, whatever. And I said, you know what I'm gonna do instead? Me spending all this money on all these subscriptions, I'm gonna invest it. Prioritize your money. Prioritize your money, man, or you're going to be broke. It's not about how much you make, it's about how much you save, and I'm saving a whole lot of money because I decided to cancel my subscription, something I could live without. I could live without them subscriptions, man. I ain't got to have them subscriptions. I don't got to have them subscriptions. Cut it off. Save some money. Invest that money. Stop being lazy. We don't need to live life automated. We don't need to live life where everything got to be automated for us. Come on, man. Be real, man. Cut that fast food out, man. Cut the fast food out. Look at that. Pineapple. That's lunch. That's breakfast. That's dinner. That's a snack. I'm learning myself. But I am not perfect. I'm still trying to cut the chips the way out. I'm still trying to cut the Oreos out. I'm still trying to cut the snacks out. I'm not perfect, so I'm not judging. I'm not the preacher. I might be a prophet, but I'm not the preacher. You know what I mean? Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Pineapple, citrus. Clean your insides out. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make some pineapple tea. So I'm not going to trash this right here. I'm going to put this in a bag. I'm going to put this in a bag. I'm going to put this in the container right here. I'm going to make a tea out of this. I ain't even playing with them, huh? I'm not even playing with them. I'm going to make a tea out of that. I'm going to add some lemon to it. I ain't even playing. I'm going to add some lemon to it. Look at that. That's the pineapple skin and lemon. Add some honey to it. I'll make a tea out of it. All right, let's cut this pineapple right here. We're going to juice it. We're going to, um, uh, I'm going to do this pineapple juice whole by itself right here. And then we're going to get to the carrots. Then we're gonna get to the ginger and the turmeric and all that stuff last. Let's get it, man. I'm just trying to, you know, talk a little game, man. Because uh I would consider myself young still. I'm getting old, I'm older, but I'm still young. I'm not, you know, too too old. And a lot of times you don't really see young people doing this kind of stuff, man. So I'm just trying to break that bridge. I'm trying to break that gap. I'm trying to break that curse. Shout out to the young homies that's still doing it. The young homies that are doing it, shout out to the old homies that's doing it, you know, shout out to my mom, you know, shout out to my sister, we all on our spiritual journey right now, shout out to God, because without God none of this is possible, you know, shout out to the people that's 
that's that's on this spiritual journey right now, man. That's trying to do better. That's trying to be better, man. That fast food killing us, man. It's killing our people. Not even just black people. It's killing our people, period, man. It's killing us, man. They ain't selling us food no more. They're selling us poison. And he laughing in our face about it, man. They laughing in our face about it, man. Because they not even eating the food that they selling us, man. At this point, they worse than the drug dealers, man. At, the, at this point, they the D-boys. But they can't go to jail for it. Like, they try to send us to jail for it. You know, we, we said a little, uh, uh. They want to send us to jail for it. But when they do it, it's perfectly legal. You know why? Because we allowing them to do it, man. All right, let's get it, man. Let's get it. This is beautiful. Got my little cutting board right here. I'm gonna go ahead and save all this pineapple skin as well. I'm add it to add it to the collection right here, man. When you go to other countries, islands and all that, Jamaica, Dior, Puerto Rico, you know all that. Man, the fruits taste different. I tell you that. They be in the market selling the fruits, and if I if I get a chance, I try to buy some just to taste a difference sometimes. It tastes so different, man. But we only can control what we can control. So we ain't perfect. We ain't trying to be. But if we can get close to it, then let's get close to it. You know what I mean? Look at that. Beautiful. That citrus hits you, man. Activate inside of you, man. I got one more piece to cut. One more piece to cut. This is the part I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna cut these down so it can fit inside the fit inside the um the juicer. Nice and small. Fit inside the juicer. Hey fellas, real talk. Real talk, if you a man and you under 30 years old and your thing can't, listen to real talk, I'm gonna say something real too. You having problems, let's just say like this, right? You having problems in the bedroom. Yo, 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 let's say your thing, right? It's not working how it should be. Now I read this, like I read a lot of stuff. A lot of the times it's your diet. A lot of the times it's your diet on why your on why you your, your thing not working in the bedroom. Your diet. What you need to do, you buy you one of these juices right here. You spend a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, whatever. You get you a juicer, you get your blender, you get you anything, something like this. I don't care about the brand, none of that. You juicy up some pineapples, raw by itself. You juicy up some turmeric. You juicy up, juicy up some ginger. You get the skin, you boil the skin. You get the, the pineapple, you juice the pineapple. You get you some honey, some black pepper, some lemon. You juice it, you eat it. You drink it every day. You go on a fasting. You don't eat no food. You do this seven days, ten days, whatever. However long you could do it.
You see the difference. You wait two weeks, you wait 30 days. You do it consistently. You do it effectively. You stop eating the fast food. You stop taking the drugs. You stop popping the perks. You stop smoking the lace weed they selling you. You will see a difference. The thing go from this to this. They go from this to this. You're under 30 years old and you're having problems in the bedroom. It's crazy. It's crazy. You got no stamina. You're crazy. You can't run a mile in under 15 minutes. You're crazy. You're under 30 years old. You don't got no excuse, man. My mom's twice y'all age and she could do that. This ain't to make fun of you. It's to tell you some real game because your favorite rappers ain't telling y'all. Your favorite athletes ain't putting you in no game. They won't even show you how to make a dollar. They tell you how to spend a dollar. Who to spend a dollar on, but they ain't going to show you how to get no dollar. Telling you, you don't want diabetes, you don't want high blood pressure, you don't want no stroke, you don't want high cholesterol and all of these things, man. Take care of your body because as men, we grow old every day, we get older every day, and if we ain't taking care of our health, <laughs> it'll find out. Pineapple straight. Look at that. Pure pineapple, man. Look at that. Raw, pure, look at that. See how that thing just fizzling down in there? That's what you want, man. Cut the seven up out, man. Cut the Mountain Dew out. Cut the soda out. Cut the McDonald's out. I know that's hard for some of us. Cause we were raised this way. Man, I was raised on Popeyes. I was raised on checkers. I was raised on these things. So I'm not excluding myself in anything in any way, however I talk, I'm including myself as, as well. But it come a point in our life where we gotta unlearn and relearn. Cause some of the things we were taught, especially at a young age that we still grow up and do today, were wrong, are wrong. I think about the music I would listen to at a young age, even the kind of stuff I was watching. Think about who I was hanging around, who I looked up to, my role models, man. I'm just in the process of, 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 of unlearning all that nonsense and, and, and just relearning something positive, something productive, you know? And if someone could watch me, or look up to me or listen to me and learn something and realize, hey, look, man, hey, I'm everything you is. I'm everything you is, man. You from the streets, I'm from the streets. You ain't had no dad in your life, in your house, in your house, me either. You grew up in a drug infested city, me too. Drug infested neighborhood, me too. You look, you grew up listening to Boosie and Plies and Webby and G's and all these boys, me too, homie. Me too. You grew up. No father figure, no role model, no positive male figure. Me too. But it's possible, bruh. Sometimes you gotta unlearn to relearn. Mom, where my spoon at? Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Me too. And ain't nothing nobody ain't do that I ain't do too. I did all that. So there's no excuses. And I got my first job, I was like, my first legal job, I was like, my mom got it for me, actually. She made me put my little suit on. Got the job. Now I've been hustling since before 14. I got my first check, like 14, or like $6 an hour, something like that, I can't remember. 
and I was hustling since then. I like 14 probably. I'm, I'm twice that. Before that, I was cutting grass, washing cars, just hustling, selling candy in school, out of school, selling whatever. If you know, you know. And um, trying to make a dollar, living fast, eating Popeyes. Eating fast food, you know. It's in the culture, man. It is in the culture. Doing all of that, man. It's in the culture, but uh, I was doing all of that, thinking, okay. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that. Beautiful. Let me add some more water in here, man. I know that's thick. Look at that. Beautiful. Pineapple juice. Pineapple juice. Raw pineapple juice. Let me add the rest of the water to that. Mm. This water from Aldi's right here. Spring water from all that's what we shop at all these we won't go to Walmart no more man Walmart don't even respect his own people man. They give us that little quality food. You buy fruits for all of these, they go bad in a day man Moon, I mean not all this. Give me Walmart. We don't even shop at Walmart no more man. We shop at Publix and Aldi uh, Any kind of farmers market you can find don't even shop at Walmart anymore, man. Some things you still can get don't get me wrong I'm not judging. It's just what I've been learning. I'm not judging. I'm not judging. I repeat. I'm not judging we won't shut it no more. We personally don't shut it no more. None of us. Not even my people, not my mom, not my sister, none of that. Nah. We ain't shut it no more, man. We going to all these for our fruits. We going to Publix for our fruits. Walmart, they, they, you know, they saw up in the same factor, factories and manufacturers and stuff, but they got the low quality stuff. They got the reject food that all these in Publix and the farmer's market and all of that uh, stuff don't want, man. That's, how, that's what I'm convinced. I'm convinced that. If you've got a better experience, shout out to you, but I don't. What we got next? What we got next? We got, uh, let's not the, uh, let's not the carrot out. We doing carrot roll by itself. Let's get it. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. What we going to do, we going to clean this out. Because as you can see, nothing nothing came out. And that's not how it's supposed to be. That's not how it's supposed to be. So we're going to clean this out. Because we want as much carrot juice as possible. All right, that's cleaned out. Cause look at that. Nothing came out. So we're gonna we're gonna clean the gutters out real quick. We're gonna clean the gutters out real quick. I don't know what's going on with the water right now. Gotta clean the gutters out. Scrape all this off like I did last time. Clean the gutters out, man. But we need as much carrot juice as possible. And as you can see, nothing came out for a whole carrot. That's unacceptable. Got to clean this, clean everything up. The water pressure right now is crazy low. I don't know what's going on, but hey. 
We don't control it, right? Much better. Much better. Put the cover back on this. All right, back. Let's get back to the carriage. And let's see if this makes a difference. Much better. I'm gonna put about 10% of water in it, not too much. Bam. Two full containers of raw carrot juice, just like that. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Go ahead and rinse these out. Now we get to the to the ginger part. But I will say, look, I will say. When you're juicing carrot, it's very, look at that. It's ve very, very thick. Look how full that is right there. It filled up to the top for the first time for the day. So you got to empty that. You got to clear it out. Got to clear it out. Got to rinse all of this out. Because that carrot, that carrot get real thick. So you want to make sure you, you know, you don't really want your carrot juice and your ginger and pineapple or nothing like that. So you really, really, really want to, um, you really, really want to clean your trays out, all of that. Got it all on my phone. Because uh, it's real thick, man. All right, there we go. You want to clean your blade off too. It's like my third time cleaning the blade. Really want to clean your blade off. That carrot juice, boy. Look at that. And what I'm doing right now, all that carrot is just stuck on the blade. So I'm just scraping it off with this spoon right here. So that's what I'm doing with this. Just getting some of that carrot off, basically. And it don't gotta be perfect. It don't gotta be perfect. Just nice little quick little rinse. Just to eliminate some of that carrot. Let me get back to our juicer. Can't be perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. Bomb, let's taste this raw characters. I love it. Mm, amazing. Let's do this ginger first. Hey, and I always, always, always have this, 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 um, these towels down. Every, everything always makes a mess, obviously, but this turmeric, it stains. It will stain your hands. It will stain your counter. So make sure you have something down 
to where it can catch it because you don't want this on your counter. Yes, it can come off, but you got to scrub for a long time. So to avoid that, make sure you have something down for the ginger, excuse me, for the ginger and the turmeric, but especially the turmeric. Because yes, it stains. It'll get in your hand. It's, it's easy to get off your hand. You really got to scrub, 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 and it'll come off. But them counters, boy, or your clothes, white shirts, any color shirt, really, it will stain. So just be real careful because you don't want them stains to, you know, affect your counter, your clothes or whatever. So this is all the turmeric I have, and I have a, a lot of ginger. All right, so let's get to it. I'm not sure what that sound is, but well, we're going to see. I'm going to let that thing drip. A little bit goes a long way. This turmeric, this ginger is extremely potent, so you don't need a lot. Even though it looks like it's a little bit right now, you can scratch it with some water or whatever. It's a lot. Trust me. It's real, real strong. I think I know what the problem is with this ginger. Let's see. Yeah, it's like making all that noise. I think it's making that noise because the ginger, look at all that. I don't know if y'all can see that, but the ginger, it cakes up on here a lot. So what you wanna do, you wanna scrape it like this. You don't, you don't wanna take it all the way off, but you wanna scrape it to where the blades have room to breathe. Because if it's all clogged up, it can't cut and it can't circulate. See, look at all of that right there. How stringy that is, it gets caught up in the um in the blades. So what you wanna do, you wanna clear it out every so often. And if you hear it start to run hard, it's running hard for a reason. It's running loud for a reason. So what you wanna do, you wanna clear it out. Simple as that. Get your little spoon or whatever, and you scrape it. You see all of that? How hairy that is? That's all that, that's all that ginger and all that turmeric. Just wanna scrape all that up. See, look at all of that. And like I said, I got a lot of ginger, so I, I might have to be doing this for a little while, but I mean, it come with it. If you wanna do it, this will come with it, you know? Dang, that's a lot. It's all clogged up. Look at that. It's a lot. And I still got all this ginger, so this might be a little annoying, but let's see. Uh, Let's see if it still does it and how long it's going to take me to get clawed up again. Perfect. All my ginger is done. And I only had to clean it out once. 
Just be careful because you don't want your juicer to get all clogged up with all that hair and all that mush and all that extract from the fruits. That ginger and that turmeric definitely does it. Let this sit for a while because like I said, a little bit goes a long way, but a little bit comes out. So you want every drop. So I'm definitely going to let that sit for like 30 seconds. Uh, as I start to clean this off. Because I'm done. Because I am done. If you look again, look at all of that. Look at that. That's all from that ginger. You can see that. Look at that. You know what I mean? So, just want to make sure this don't get too, 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 too clogged up. Fertilizer. That's all fertilizer right there. That's all fertilizer. So, if you want to use this for your garden or whatever, use it. Fertilizer. All right. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice and thick. So what we're going to do, we're going to get our strainer. We're going to get our strainer. We're going to get our little pitcher right here. We're going to start straining. This is ginger and turmeric. And then we're going to add some honey to it. Look how thick that is. We gonna add, look at that. Look at that. We gonna add a, uh, hold on, let me get all of it first. I want every drop of this right here, cause this is strong. And what we gonna do with this, because it's so strong, I'm going to add water, of course. I'm going to add the rest of this water right here. Not the rest, maybe like half, not even half, a quarter. We're going to add our honey, of course. Raw, unfiltered honey. Actually, I'm going to finish this, so I'm going to open the top. Raw, unfiltered honey. And we're gonna put these in a the small containers. These small ones right here. We're gonna try to fit, we're gonna try to put maybe three or four. And we're gonna take a shot of this every single morning. Fellas, y'all remember what I said? Remember. You fill this up, you, you take a shot of this every single morning you wake up. And you don't eat nothing till about probably like lunchtime if possible, as long as possible. Hour two, three, whatever. Telling you, ladies too, of course, but I'm talking to the fellas because I be, I be hearing what be going on and I be like, how? You 24? How? You 27? How? You 30? Ain't no way. Telling you, take your ginger shots. You can buy this, of course. You can pay for the convenience or you can do it yourself if you got the time. Figure out what works for you. I'm going to add a little water in here. I'm going to add the rest of this. I'm going to get the cover. I'm going to shake it up. I'm going to let it sit for a second. I'm going to add my lemon. I'm going to squeeze my lemon in it. Squeeze my other lemon in it. And squeeze my third lemon in it. Whatever lemon you got left over, just go ahead and squeeze it in. And then of course, I'm gonna add my black pepper in it. This right here is black peppercorn grinder. You grind this up, you put some in. This act, this help activate it. I learned this on, I think YouTube or somewhere. Get your little handful like that. A little bit more. 
This will get it spicy, of course. But spicy is good in this case. Squeeze all your lemons. And as you can tell, this might be a little strong, so we're going to definitely put the rest of this water in it. Fellas, let's get right now. Nah. Hey, I ain't going to lie. One thing I learned, if you can't sacrifice, if you can't stay dedicated, if you can't go the extra mile, you can't get no money. Money takes sacrifice, dedication, time, wisdom, patience. If you can't do any of them things, you can't get no money. You can get a couple dollars here and there, cool, but you can't get no money. You can't get no wealth. It takes preparation for wealth, man. It takes wisdom. It takes time, patience. Oh, my God, it takes time. And I ain't talking like I'm rich and this and that. Nah, 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 nah. None of that. But I know these things because I'm richer than I was last year and I'm richer than I was last decade. Let's be real now. Nah. But I'm not rich. I'm not I'm not preaching. I don't preach. I don't do that. I just talk the stuff that your favorite rappers don't talk. I talk the stuff that your big bro might not talk about. I talk the stuff that your favorite athletes might not mention. Look at that. I'm going to add the rest of this water right here. Uh, let me open this up. Bam. Squeeze all of this up. And what you want to do, what you want to do, is get you some containers, some small containers like these. And you want to take a shot every single day. And when it finished, make some more. If you can't, buy some more. I'm telling you, fellas. Immune boost. That's what it is. You start to feel better. You start to feel lighter. You start to feel not so heavy. Not so congested. Not so bloated. You start to have more of an appetite. Your sex drive is improved. You start to feel better, start to look better. I stir this bad boy up right here. And let's taste it. Whew. That is strong. <laughs> Woo. That's strong. We're going to add some more water to this because this is real strong. That's real. That could be scratched probably twice. That's real strong. That probably could be scratched twice more. Let's get the big boy, man. I don't measure anything, so don't ask me about measurements. I don't know. I just play it by air. I'm freestyling. I'm not a cook. I'm not a chef. I'm not a chemist. None of that. I'm just freestyling. It's still strong. Whew. That's really strong. That's really, 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 really strong. I'm going to put a little more black pepper, and I'm going to put a little more honey. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a pinch of water into all these containers. And that's going to be too much work. So what I'm going to do, I'll do it. I'm already doing it now. All right, bet. Let's start. Whoa, that's strong. Well, I'm still feeling it. But when it hits your system, you feel it. You feel the vibrations. You feel the burning sensation. And it feel like it's going down you. 
That's strong. Let me stir this up one more time. See how thick that is? That's that honey. Let's start pouring. I got a little bit of water in each one. Whoa, I don't want to waste none of this. Slow it down. Whoa, it's going fast. Let's slow it down. That's one right there. That's Monday. It's Tuesday right here. That's Tuesday. It's Wednesday right here. That's Wednesday right here. Come on now, stay with me. It's Thursday. Bam. And it's Friday. Come on now, stay with me. Look at all that black pepper on the last one. Y'all ready? Come on now. Stay with me. Get in with me. Come on now. We're going to scrape all that honey, all that black pepper out. Boom, that's five days right there. That's five days right there. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's five days right there. And I'm going to be real. I'm going to go ahead and break these up some more because it's too much. It's too much. This is, this is thick. Let me taste one more. If it's too much, I'm going to break it up. Yeah, it's too thick. Nah, we ain't, we ain't we going to break it up. We're going to break it up. Let me make a six one. It's too thick. It's not thick, excuse me, it's too, it's too strong. We're going to break it up and make a six one right now. We're going to halfway do it. So that means we making a Saturday, basically. <laughs> basically, we making a Saturday. That's what we basically doing right now. It's too thick. We making a Saturday right now. So we making a six day, six shots, six days right here. We making a Saturday right here. Sunday, Sunday going to be our rest day. Sunday gonna be our rest day, so we ain't making no Sunday. Come on, man. Get in with me. Get in with me. Get in with me. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Come on, man. Look at them lemons right here. Don't forget about the tea. Remember, we made the tea. I ain't throwing the lemons away. What are we gonna do with the lemons? Hold on, let me open this up. Remember, we're gonna make tea with the we're gonna make tea with the lemons. That's what we're doing. So we ain't throwing the lemons away. Go ahead and put that in there with that. That's what we're doing with that. Now that's a whole nother cleanse right there. And just like that, we done. We got our ginger. Turmeric, honey, and black pepper and a little bit of water. We got our pineapple. We got our carrot. We got our pear. Right here. We got our raspberries. We got our actual cut pineapples right here. We got our cantaloupe right here. Look at that. What this is, I forgot what this is right here. I can't remember. And of course... We got our celery and cucumber. We got a whole bunch of juice right here, man. We got a whole bunch of juice right here. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. I appreciate y'all for watching. Like I said, I'm not a perfectionist in any way. I'm just another man trying. The world gives us a lot of problems, but they don't give us no solutions. 
this is the solution to our health. Health is wealth. And I'm just a man trying. I don't judge nobody. Don't judge me. I'm not perfect. Africa Black, on everything, follow me. I appreciate y'all love. Where do you think you are from? Africa Black.